Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how we can stop the bubbling phase or the capture phase using the stop propagation method. So we have a method that is nothing but stop propagation. So this method is very important. You need to understand. So this stop propagation will be used or otherwise it is used to stop the bubbling phase or to stop the event moving upwards or downwards. So here downwards is the capturing phase and upwards is the bubbling phase, right? So you can use this stop propagation to stop the propagation, whether it is moving upwards or the downwards. I will try to show you a simple example. Here we are having an HTML and let's say that I am having a div. ID is equal to, I will take the same example 3A or uh, 3A or something like this. Okay. And I will be having a button. So button one so this is the button and id is equal to button one this is our button let's go to the script tag so here i am adding a script first cap let's capture the button element let button is equal to document dot get element by id of button one so this is our button okay this is our button now we got the button now what i want to do button dot add event listener of click event and I, I will try to fire the console.log button click so this is the method I am trying to so this one needs to be fired in the capturing phase so that is the reason I am adding true let's see the output if you try to see the output for this one what will happen so this is our uh, button one if I click on this one button clicked so we are able to see it but this one is firing in the capturing phase not in the bubbling phase now for example let's say that for this div element let div element is equal to i will try to take it this one document dot get element by id of 3a right 3a i have took the div element and for this div element also i am adding the event listener so div element dot add event listener of click sorry of click so here I will try to do something like quit event or anything. So quit event. And this one also needs to be fired in the capturing phase. So fine. Let's try to have function quit event. So this one will get an event. And here we are having a quit event. And in this one, what I want to do here, I will try to do console.log view element fired. Okay, so this one is fine so this one is also capturing capturing this one and this one is also capturing okay so in the capturing phase it is firing now if you see the output first what it will try to fire it first when you try to click on the button it will fire first the development why because it needs to capture right it needs to come from the top to bottom so first development will uh, appear and the development it has a event listener which should be fired in the capturing phase First, the capturing development will be fired, and next afterwards, the button element will be fired. If you try to click on this button, see capturing development fired is first <coughs> console, and next it has from console this capturing button click. Now, what I want to do is so now when this one is captured is fired, I need to stop propagating. So I need to stop propagating this moving downwards or upwards. So right now we are we have fired in the capturing phase. So that means it needs it it, it doesn't need to go to the bottom so then what i need to do here so what i can do is here i can use something like event dot stop propagation okay propagation so this is the event so when you try to use this event dot stop propagation for the development here i am trying to use it for the development when i when i used this event dot stop propagation now in the capturing phase for this development so here for this development the click event has been fired in the firing uh, in the capturing phase so it has event dot stop propagation so then this event doesn't go to the bottom so that is the thing so now here what will happen the output will be only the capturing development file will be fine if you try to see here click here see only capturing development file is consoled so that means when you try to use this event dot stop propagation it, it can stop the bubbling phase bubbling not only the bubbling phase it can also control the capturing phase also for example let's say that uh, this div uh, event listener development listener will fire the event in the bubbling phase not in the capturing phase 
so when it is trying to fire it in the bubbling phase so then what it will happen so first development it will try to check that event listener is there or not in the capturing phase it is not there it is the event listener is there in the bubbling phase so then the button whether it is there or not in the capturing phase yes it is there in the capturing phase event list is added so now capturing button clicked will be fired now it will go to the bubble now it will bubble in the bubbling phase it doesn't have any event listener it will go to the 3a okay here it is having event at stop propagation now this one is also will be fired and now the bubble will not go to the top okay so that is the thing so now if you try to see the both the things will be fine if you try to see the output both the things will be fine for example in any case if you are having here in a such a option that you know you are stopping the event dot stop propagation let's assume so here i am i using event dot stop propagation in the bubbling phase i am using for the button so that means this development will not be fine if you try to see the output button if i click see capturing button click is only fight and this one will not fight so this is how the stop propagation will be used most of the people might be confusing with the stop propagation that event dot stop propagation is used only for the event bubbling to stop the event bubbling that is not the case event dot stop propagation will stop the event propagation both in the capturing phase and also in the bubbling phase so you can stop both upwards are the downwards so that is the thing and also another thing what you need to understand is for example you have an another option that is nothing but stop immediate propagation if you try to see somewhere so you'll be able to see stop immediate propagation for example let's say that i am having the same thing okay so i am having here the same thing another event handler for the development so here i will be using console.log development second event okay i am having this one so for this quick event quit, uh, quit event i have used stop propagation okay <clears throat> for if i use stop propagation will this event listener will be fired or not okay you may be having doubt that will this event listener will be fired or not if you use stop propagation of course if the if a single element is having two different handlers so if you are having the same event different handlers means it will fire so if you try to see the output now if you try to see the output okay so capturing development development second event so both of them has been fired so same thing if you try to use it in the capturing phase also so this one also should be in the capturing phase it should not be in the bubbling phase then it will not fire so now it will fire but this time button will not fire okay so both the things has been fine capturing development and development button is not fired why because we are stopping the propagation in the capturing phase only now if you want to stop for example you have fired this quit event and i want to immediately stop all the events all the event handlers for this element means then you need to use stop immediate propagation so then only the development fight only will be fine see capturing development only fine so this time the same event we have a different event handler this one is not firing so this is the difference between a stop immediate pro propagation and also a stop propagation so this is all about the stop propagation thing how we can stop the bubbling or capturing phase for an event if you want to do it means we can use it using the event dot stop propagation or otherwise if you want to stop all the events all the different event handlers for the same element means then we need to use the stop immediate propagation okay so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.